Hi Pisces, welcome to your unexpected reading for July 29th through August 28th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Shanetta's Divine Tarot. Much love and support to her, and hopefully you get a chance to check her out, show her some love and support as well. This is intended for a romantic read, however, it may resonate in other areas of your life, such as money, career, job, work, uh, friends, family, that sort of thing. All right, Pisces, what is your unexpected? Prepare yourself for the unexpected. What is it? These have been largely independent. Like, it, there, I think there was only one where somebody, it involved somebody else per se. It was like, the, there was a lot of these where it's like someone deciding what like someone's on the outskirts and someone was deciding what to do about their own personal situation and that was the surprise or the unexpected was that they weren't going to return or that they were handling it differently than before. It wasn't about something coming in, which, you know, across the board, that, like I said, there's only one that I can remember that was about someone else coming in. It was, it's been very interesting. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Okay, ouch. Here effect. The star. Judgment. Good gracious. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. What else for Pisces? What are we dealing with here? Knight of Pentacles, that could be Taurus. So we got Taurus, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. All right, there we go. Okay, so, all right, it looks like there's been some sort of crisis or ending, some surprise uh, ending here and you've got some decisions to make and it's about getting to a place where you can adjust to having to make these decisions like you you need security and stability right now we've got the ten of pentacles the hair fan and the two of pentacles so hmm. you know i think someone's going to be coming back in to tell you they're sorry. We got the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This is someone coming back in and wanting to do the right thing. And then we've got the, I'm gonna do right here. The Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles right there. And this is someone wanting to come back in, maybe even reaching out online because you won't see them in person and you're at the crossroads having to make some decisions. And I, I think you're looking for a sign, you're looking for like, that you're really wanting to know what is the best thing to do for yourself and your best interest at this point, Pisces, because um, while you might have been hopeful about that, I think you're finding yourself not so sure anymore that this might be what you want. It does look like somebody's coming back in to say they're sorry and if you can talk, if you can work things out. And it's after the realization that they've done something wrong. They probably went and did something. They probably, they probably did something stupid. Let's be honest. That they weren't thinking, and then they got either caught or in trouble for it. And it's just like, oh no! And they're trying to do the right thing, and they're wanting to. And you're like, no, no anymore. I don't know. What's this star card about? Star card. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is you wanting to heal and feel better and not feel that the disappointment and just because look at this five of cups and this ten of swords they did something stupid and it damn near cost them the relationship it may or may not you're still going to be deciding but it, it right now it feels like it like it did honestly what's this knight of pentacles about this is about intimacy somebody probably cheated it's this knight of pentacles either that or it's somebody that's just not giving enough attention to the relationship so that you two can't grow emotionally. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Emotional intimacy or otherwise. Okay, so I could be dealing with the Taurus, but this is someone that wants to offer... This could be somebody coming in 
professing love. Maybe this is a physical relationship, relationship, relationship only, and then they're professing love, or the issue is we have a great chemistry and whatnot, but things aren't going to the next level, and I don't know if I want to stick around. Plus, you did something stupid, making me a fool. I've been waiting. This relationship has been less than, but I've stuck around because of my feelings for you, and I hope you felt the same, and then you went and did something stupid, and what the hell am I sticking around for? And so here they come. Sorry, I want to make it up to you. Six of Pentacles, judgment. Let me explain. If you're not going to listen to me, let me, you know, reaching out to you online. And I, I really do want to be devoted and make this up to you. I really do want to work steadfastly to regain your trust. And I promise it'll be worth it. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Just to, what's, what's, what's this to a judgment? All right, what's this judgment about? This judgment. Let's see, the star. We got the star twice here. So this is definitely someone wanting to come in and make things right. This is someone that wants, give me time, give me time, let me explain, give me time. That, you know, while you might want time to think about things and to just heal, because ow, especially this and probably cheating, or if it's not really cheating if they weren't committed, right? But that's a loophole. We all know how that's used. But there were feelings there. And this, what they did, whatever stupid thing they did is put it in jeopardy and no matter how much they profess and confess, now you're you're just like, I just don't know if I can. Also, boobies. I don't know if I can. This is two of pentacles. I think you're going to call them out. I think they're coming back in. And you're, there might be some calling them out on like, well, what's really going on? What else haven't you told me? What's this two of pentacles? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're going to take them at your, their word this time. I think there's going to be some distrust and suspicion. If they don't, maybe you don't call them out because you're not face-to-face -face or you don't want to even talk to them because you want some privacy to make your own decisions. But this is you wondering what else, instead of taking this person at their words, regardless of how you feel about them. we got the Ace of Cups here. This is you going, no. And perhaps they're used to you doing that before, but unexpectedly so. You're like, you know what? I need to kind of think about this now. Because all of a sudden I'm wondering what else you haven't told me. Because it, are you juggling me in this other situation? And if that's the case, like I need some time. You need to get out of my way. Because this is just going to be me and the soulscape. And this star right here is what's in the lantern lighting the way. So this is someone hoping and praying to see their way through this. And I just going to be baby steps. Everybody back off and leave me alone. I don't need any interference because I'm hurt. I'm wounded. And I don't want anybody to see me like this. And I certainly don't want your shenanigans coming back and bothering me because I'm barely hanging on. So you just leave me alone. This could be Virgo, Aquarius. This is Yeah, you need to get to solid ground. Ten of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Yes. You need to get to some solid ground so you can think about things because you got things coming at you all sides. You're confused. All of a sudden, you don't know what to give your attention to. And this is about need. It's almost like you're hoping something outside can supply that faith and stability. And the, the messed up thing is, is that this person was the one that caused the instability and where you might have used to look to them before to re restore and stabilize, like they were your rock of sorts, they were your faith holder, you can't look to them anymore. It's you going inward. And so you're kind of set adrift. It might be new territory for you because there might have been some um, codependency issues or just a reliance on this person, you know, whatever, that was your dynamic. But now it's really hitting home how you're kind of feeling very alone and like you're, you're all you've got. And it's new territory for you, and it's very confusing, and you're just wanting some stability, and that makes you vulnerable for this person's sweet talkingness, for you to want to look to them for the stability, for looking outside for stability instead of finding it within. Because this, looking for it on the outside is kind of a shortcut, unless you've got the groundwork laid on the inside, right? So very wisely, you're just like, everybody back off. I need time. And this kind of situation might have gone differently before but for whatever reason for the month of August you're not falling for it or you're not you're you're handling it differently 
And I think, I don't think, I don't know if this is over or not for you, but it, it definitely, you're definitely taking some time to think about what you want. Despite their confessions and their professing of devotion and love, and I want to make it right, let me make it up to you, let me do the right thing, you know, I love you, I'll, I'll wait, I'll, I'm sorry, I, this and that, for, for whatever reason, it's, it's, is it either it's ringing hollow or you're just not maybe you're so hurt that you're like I just want to be by myself because I just I just need to be in a safe solid stable area to be able to think because I'm overwhelmed and I'm confused and I need to think and I need to be able to make some choices here this is here for need to be alone to make some choices. I am as lost as Big Dog because you used to be my rock. I used to look to you for that, but you went and did something stupid. And now I'm set adrift and I got to make my own decisions, only I don't really know how to, so this is going to be quite a challenge. So if you could leave me alone, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. We've got needing faith and needing to go within to find it. This stability and trust and, and relying on all that is good and faithful and stable in the world comes from a groundedness within. So it's got to start from here to get to the outside, um, the outside representation of it, the physical security of it. This is all about being internally secure because of balance, because you recognize you're listening to your soul, you're connecting to source. That grounds you on the inside so that you can be the rock and the source on the outside. Like you don't need to look for others. You embody it, so you attract someone that has that already. You're not trying to manufacture it or create it in someone. You're not just latching on to someone that has no business being a rock for you, but you need it, so you latch on, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're capable of it. So this is about finding it inside so that you don't have to look outside to get it. And when you find it inside, you're, you're okay, you're at peace. You're not looking for someone else to provide that for you because you've got it. You're solid on the inside. Okay, so what else here for Pisces? I'm sorry, Pisces. This is, this is, it's just disappointing. I mean, you know, the choice will be yours, whatever you decide to do. You're definitely taking some time here, which is probably a shocker because I, I think this person did not expect that. I don't think they expected whatever happened to be a deal breaker. So you're taking the time, but it, you're not without, you know, being heartbroken about it. I mean, this is, I'm surprised the tower didn't show up because this effectively has kind of turned everything upside down. Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups here. This is a very topsy-turvy, confusing time for you. That's for Pisces. Simplicity. Simplify things, which is really good when you're taking a practical approach. That really helps. <laughs> But this is about distilling things down to where it's very simple. Measure the behavior. The person can confess and profess all they want. But if this is happening again and again and again, there's your answer. So this is about simplifying your life. And it could be that to do that, the first steps to take is what you're doing now, which is withdrawing because you feel like you can only count on yourself. And that's on shaky ground because you've never really been that solid on that before. That might be why you kind of overattached and rely on people on the outside. So this is about fortifying your innards, you know, going inward and getting that really strong and doing some soul searching and keeping things simple. You don't need this clutter right here. You don't need someone coming in and professing and trying and crying and complicating things. You can do that all by yourself. <laughs> so you, you need some time to think and they need to leave you alone. Things need to be very simple for you right now so you can start to process and understand. Baby steps. What else for Pisces? Crikey. What else for Pisces? It makes me sad because it, you know, it just, it's, this right here is like they let you down. And it just feels like you're set adrift because you don't, you don't trust them anymore. You don't feel like you can count on them. They let you down. And that's like the death knell because you're, you know, the pretty devoted partner. And then now you're just like, well, now what do I do? I don't know. And it's literally baby steps, like kind of resurrecting things or fortifying within baby steps. Cause it's, that's not 
a default for you. Like that's not something you've really done before or, but for whatever reason, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm tired of going through this crap. This time it's different. Not just with this person, but with all the persons like I need to be more self-sufficient or I need to be more grounded internally. So I stop looking for people externally to supply all this strength and stability for them because repeatedly I get let down. What else for Pisces? I grabbed the wrong deck, doggone it. And this is the moon, and that's Pisces. <laughs> so that's what Pisces. Or it could be Cancer, but I mean, we're talking about Pisces. Stop it. Good. Where am I going to put this? All right. Six of Wands. Winning. <laughs> this is the, the, with the help of friends. This is victory through the help of friends and um, basically surrounding yourself with supportive people to get you through this. And this is also after the chaos, you're victorious and things progress. So I definitely think it's about you taking time apart in a way so that you can figure this out and that you surround yourself with some friends and family that can counterbalance any negative thinking or just you getting falling down a rabbit hole of despair. Friends helping you get through and be victorious. Okay. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Oh, jeez. Page of Pentacles. No shocker there. Queen of Wands. See? This could be indicative of here you are, the perfect partner, dynamic, let's go and do, ride or die, and then here they are not giving very much. This could be their offer to, okay, I'm going to be that partner now. I'm going to be that inclusive, warm, adventurous, like dedicated partner and wanting to offer that, wanting to start, and you're like, you just don't know. You just, yeah, I need time. Back off. I'm a donkey on the edge. Shrek. Anyone? Shrek? But seriously, they need to back up. They need to shut up and leave you alone. Honestly, you need time. You need to think. You just need to think. Can't keep coming at you. All right. I hope you get the time to think, honestly, because that's what you need. You'll, you'll figure it out. You'll do what you need to do, and it's going to be your choice. And But you need some time to think because they, and they need to stop kind of trying to over attack you with their love. <laughs> like they need to stop overwhelming you or, or asking whatever they need to give you time. If they truly care, they will back off and give you time because you need time to think. This, for whatever reason, is different than all the other times. And that's what probably scares them and is scary for you also because this is not the norm. You're very inclusive with this person. And then for you to want to be alone and have time to think, that, that makes you feel like, what the heck? That's not like I this is foreign to me because I'm usually so connect, I connect. And this is very solitary time so that you can think. And I think that's very unexpected because it, it it's very different from how they've known you to be. And I think that it scares them quite honestly. I, I don't think they know what to do with it. And that's why they keep wanting to, nah, because they don't want you to have some time alone to think about it because you might start to un have some understanding and perspective and start to make different choices that would exclude them and yeah that that wouldn't be so good for them <laughs> okay i hope you get the time you need to think and process pisces and good luck to you i hope to see you in the next reading you take care